Kelly, are we live? Are we live? Kelly's our <laughs> Kelly Agent One Three Seven is our sleuth. She reports if we're live or not. Are we live? Can you tell? <laughs> yeah, we're, de- we're, de- we're definitely live. We're we're yeah, uh, we are. We are, <laughs> we are West, Smith, West Smith Variety Show episode sixty two. What's amazing is that we what? made it to oh, episode- no, we did one last week. So what's amazing is that we made it to episode sixty two. You mean yesterday? <laughs> no. And when did- what and and today's guest is Felix Joseph, as anyone will see if they uh, pick this up on Facebook or wherever in the future. What's up, Felix? What's up, Wes? How you going? 
Yeah, dude. Awesome. Agent 137, how are you doing today? Doing well, doing well. I'm doing well. Any of our any of our regular folks that tune in now or later may recognize that I have a legit fireplace behind me right now. <laughs> <laughs> you really do. <laughs> and not only a legit fireplace, but but a but a paint by numbers of one of my dogs. <laughs> That's Luther. Kelly, did you ever meet Luther? Yes, I did. We yeah. we took some walks together. Luther's come a long way. But yeah. um yeah, so we are chilling in three different time zones. What do we got? Felix, where are you at? I'm in Melbourne, and the time is 11.20 a.m. Sunday morning. That is a variety show trooper right there to get up at 11 o'clock. <laughs> and he DJed last night. Oh, we're going to hear all about that shortly. There's no doubt. Kelly, what so, what uh, what time is it for you? Nine? Nine really, it, it is my bedtime, 9.20 p.m. <laughs> bedtime damn this is definitely the millennials show <laughs> felix no. you're a millennial aren't you yes i am yeah yeah there you go all right well we at least got one we at least got one through the hoop today <laughs> this is like this is, the last three have been millennials it's awesome and who's who says millennials don't do anything they come on the variety show it's awesome um <laughs> Let's see, uh, real quick. Well, I'm in I'm in the West Coast, so I'm actually in San Francisco today, and uh, that's why I'm sitting at this nice fireplace because it's cold outside. Um, what? Uh, let's talk a little bit of. Uh, well, Felix, you played last night, so you had an event just recently. What was that all about last night? And then we'll talk about a few things we had going on. Yeah, so I've been DJing at this club. Um, I do either Friday nights or Saturday nights, a few hours over the weekend, and. Yeah, it's a club in uh, one of the places in uh, Melbourne CBD, and um, the music is R and B, hip hop, predominantly. Yeah, a mix. It's fun. It's fun. Cool, man. I like that. Would you would you would you consider that kind of open format in terms of you uh, know the the party like open you know hip hop this and that? Yep, yep, yep. It it is like that, but. Uh, I don't think you can call that open format. Although I am uh, an open format DJ. All right. But yeah. But not the residency. Yep. <laughs> right. right on. Um, well, uh, Kelly, what's up? Anything? Did you do anything? Did you party last night? You partying tonight? I just, um, came, I just came back from 20 something days of Burning Man. No one wants to hear about that shit. So go ahead. I, have actually, <laughs> I, I actually took a little bit of a break. I did have a party here on the boat earlier. There were three raccoons when I walked in having a party. Three. Not one, not two. Raccoons. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to call that. Is that a raccoon party? I don't I'm not sure I should I'm not yeah, sure I mean, I'm not sure I should try to describe that for fear of saying something politically incorrect and just getting all kinds of hate. <laughs> yeah, it was it was a good time. Sweet. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's all I've got going on right now. Nice. <laughs> Well, well, friends, if you tuned in right at the beginning and you heard that wonderful music playing, I Came to Bop, that's a remix of a song that uh, yours truly and White Boy Awesome did probably back 2000, I'm going to say 12. The original was pure breakbeat. This one is not, but it has some throwbacks to it. It's a good time. And that's on the Juice Night Out volume three comp where there's three other songs go check it out including disco bitch that's the winner off of that one i got a lot of uh good feedback for that one as well as playing it at burning man a lot of good feedback from it there live and also just a few people pinging me hit me with some messages still working on cracking open the twitter sphere you know but anyway <clears throat> i had someone hit me up kelly they're like this is a radio play song i love it <laughs> <laughs> And I was like, well, put that shit on radio then, man. Um, it's kind of funny. People will hit me up, Felix, and they'll be like, hey, is it okay if I play that on the radio? And I'm like, yeah, I hope you already did. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Please, please. Don't let it go stale. Songs go stale in about a week and a half now. So, you know, you got to move with it. Um, so that's that one. And then another release came out after that, a little more moody, not quite as clubby. That's the Vans yeah. on My Feet one. I wear a lot of Vans. That picture yeah. that's on there, if you like it, awesome. That's uh, That was also scrolling there. And that's um, 
That's a, a pile of my shoes. I collect vans and Pumas. Sorry, Nike people. Um, the I other thing, I real quick, uh, Kelly and Felix was, and anybody out there, um, the I forgot to mention the girl on the cover. And Kelly, I'm surprised you didn't ask. The girl with the snake on the cover, the Juice Night Out three of that comp. Huh? That's yeah. uh, my friend Portia. So, um, little known fact, and Felix, this may be a little known fact to you too, brother, since we haven't spoken in a while, but all the models, all the models, women or men, that have been featured on any of our releases over all the years, those have always been people that we know. Which, you know, may or may not be that significant to people, but <laughs> but they're always people that I've met. They're not like professional models. They're always people that I've met either at a gig or on a plane flight home or whatever um, at something. And then they were just cool people. And then they maybe were doing some photo shoots or something. And I was like, oh, that's a really cool photo. So that's kind of how those come about. But um, yeah. yeah, dude. So anyway, on to Felix, man. The way the way that I know you, uh, if, if I know people more than like 10 minutes before we do this, I always try to give people a little bit of a background. Um, you know, I didn't tell you a whole lot, Felix, about the 60 some odd episodes before and kind of how this whole thing started was, you know, me meeting people like yourself and a couple of our mutual friends, uh, Manny and, uh, you know, others uh, from around the world. And I would meet them, particularly at a nightclub or this kind of thing. And then we, we may get a little time to hang out ourselves, but usually not. You know, like at a nightclub, it's tough, man. And if you're there, maybe you're working or networking or DJing or whatever. And, you know, you just you, quite often you don't get a quiet time to have a little chat with people and catch up with them. And especially you don't get to do it usually if you've met them. And then a few years later, like you and I, and then get to kind of rendezvous again. You know, you're in Melbourne, dude. I'm in San Diego. Kelly's over there in New York. The likelihood of the three of us or even two of us being in the same spot at one time, pretty slim. So so that's what's kind of going on. And uh, that's that's for you. Kelly already knows the drill. But that's for you and that's for uh, anyone that might just kind of chime in and be like, what the hell did I just click on? <laughs> <laughs> so, dude, you and I know – what year was that you and I met, man? In India. That's how we met. Yeah, I'm not sure. Probably might have been around 2010. So. That sounds about right. Yeah. yeah. And and at the time, you were kind of hanging out. That was in Chennai, Madras, for all the uh, non, non-local non folks. But um, that was uh, – I know Manny for sure. I don't remember how I met you, but I know you were friends with Manny. There was a couple other cats yeah. at that time. Who else? Yeah. So um, Manny used to be here at Leather Bar, and uh, that's where we used to hang out. And later on, I started DJing there as well, and Pasha as well. So that's where I met you. I think you came to the Park Hotel, um, to Leather Bar, to yeah. meet Manny. Yeah. I was there, and that's how we met. But it might have been a decade even. And I'm pretty sure I've heard you, like, heard a set at least three or four times. I've heard you play in yeah. Chennai. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And then, and then you, uh, and then you skated uh, off out of Chennai. But let's talk about. I want to talk about India a little bit more because, you know, I've been there a bunch of times. Um, and we were just talking before you asked me when the last time I was there, and that was through Naveen and Red Bull and that stuff. And that was a lot of fun going to play those dates. But I, for me, for me, kind of having been there when I back when I met you, and then more recently, like last year, and I was saying. Um, or I was observing for sure that that the 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 scene and the sort of acceptance of electronic dance music, you know, collectively has changed a lot, man. So, what do you think of like what would you say about how electronic dance music's changed in five or ten years in India? Yeah, it's crazy. I keep talking about this to my friends all the time over here who uh, don't really know what the scene is uh, back in India. But I personally feel the EDM scene is bigger than hip hop or you know the commercial scene. Even in terms of uh, most of the DJs coming out, like from Chennai, yeah, they primarily play only techno music. Yeah. So, and techno and techno is like the the kind of flavor, right? Or maybe some tech house. Yeah. 
Yeah. Right. And um, yeah, I think at least 70% of the DJs uh, play just that. So I think that flows onto the crowd as well. Yeah, I felt like there was, uh, you know, Manny told me a lot when I was there last time, like there's a number of festivals that have continued to grow there as well as Sri Lanka close by, right? And so that bleeds over a little bit with where some of the, the regional DJs go back and forth and play and that yeah. kind of thing. But I definitely felt like probably when I met you, I felt like hip hop, you know, and just R and B in general, these kinds of things were probably pretty popular. And I feel I definitely felt like that swung aside from the shows I played, I mean I also went out in those various, you know, cities, Bangalore, Chennai, Hyderabad, etc. when I was there. So I, I realized like I was hearing a lot more house music, um the tech house, deep house even kind of like the blank uh crew is doing and and just um and techno like you said. So spot on well that's cool do you think that's a good thing do you think that's a good thing for india is it shaping the is it shaping the youth uh good and bad like there are people who enjoy hip-hop music more than like dance music or electronic music yeah uh, the majority of the crowd is like that but then if venues are booking djs that play only house or you know techno music then the crowd is kind of forced to listen to that right. because it's not only people who go there regularly, you know, for the music who go there. There, are, the crowd. There's cra crazy amount of people that go out, and they go out like every week, every weekend. Yeah, or, you 